Sports Now. In the last hour and a half, the city of Decatur issued a new policy regarding illegal immigration. It comes after a public battle between the mayor and police chief over a policy that was distributed last week to Decatur police officers. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. Uh, Naja Sherman has the night off. The policy issued this afternoon contains some core differences. While the city still won't create a formal agreement with federal immigration officers or ICE, Officers will make every effort to assist ICE with the chief's approval. Officers can now request an ICE detainer if someone is in custody for a non-immigration charge. And officers can ask about a person's immigration status if they have reason to believe the person committed a crime and is undocumented. The situation came to a head Sunday night after Mayor Tab Bowling posted on Facebook that Decatur would not become a sanctuary city. Wait 31's Shosh Pedrosian is live in Decatur now with reaction from residents. Shosh. Dan, the situation required intervention from the city's legal team. One resident tells me the mayor made the city look bad. Another one tells me she's on his side. And I just felt like he took the chief of police, the highest ranking police officer in Decatur, and threw them in front of the Facebook bus. Suzanne Johnson attended Monday night's Decatur City Council meeting to call for Mayor Tab Bowling to resign. She says the mayor shouldn't be posting issues within the city government on social media. We're not a sanctuary city. Nobody has said that we're going to be a sanctuary city. And I think that because he's running for mayor again, that he took an opportunity um, and threw this out on Facebook, hoping that it would get him um, votes. Not put bad things on his Facebook post. He keeps everybody informed of what's going on in the community. And if they don't want to read his post, then I suggest they unfriend him. Bonnie Goodman has lived in Decatur for years. She says she's always been a supporter of the mayor and will continue to support him. She fears the memo the chief of police issued last Wednesday is trying to make Decatur a sanctuary city. I do not want the city of Decatur to turn out like San Francisco being a sanctuary city brings in lots of crimes and and um, some people that I'm not comfortable being around. I've reached out to the mayor and police chief since this new policy has been released and I'm waiting to hear back. Reporting live in Decatur, Shosh Bedrosian, Way 31 News.